Wayne Hubbard and Candace Price of Kansas City, two trailblazers in the outdoor television industry. Their TV show, Urban American Outdoors, is the first African-American owned, produced, and hosted outdoor adventure show in the United States. Their passion to promote diversity and inclusion in the outdoors has inspired hundreds of thousands, not only just through their TV show, but through outreach programs and urban kids' fishing clinics they facilitate all across the country. As a result of their inspiring work to engage, embrace, and promote diversity in the outdoors, they've been nationally recognized and have served as representatives on federal advisory committees, ultimately being named as Champions of Change by the Obama administration. We're going to do it Urban American style because, you know, that's how we roll. Put a little urban, a little soul, a little hip-hop. We're out on the boats. I'm in Oklahoma, my home state. Wayne, a born and raised Oklahoman, returned to his home state as he and his wife, Candace, joined our crew on the water to share their story of diversity and inclusion in the outdoors. You know, as, as someone who grew up here and, and understand this time of the year is exciting. That's a nice one. Not bad. That's nice. It's a good one. Gonna eat good. <laughs> it started with my grandfather. He'd take me out and we'd start, we'd rabbit hunt and, and we'd squirrel hunt, but, uh, and, but I can't just leave it all on him. My grandmother would have me outdoors uh, and getting, putting my hands in the dirt. And she would always say, you know, listen, you, this is where you're from, this is where your family's from, and put your hands in the dirt. And so we would garden and we'd work and we'd be engaged in that space. And so I think about it as much as he would take me out as hunting, it was just important for her. Uh, and grandma was really unique because she was Cherokee Freedman, so she was part of that, that, that black Freedman Cherokees. And, and she would tell the stories to me about her family and why it was relevant to be connected to the, the, the land. They wanted us to know why it was important that they hunted and fished. They hunted and fished for sustenance. And so that was part of my, who, I, who I was as a person growing up. We also garden and we farmed. So it's always been a part of, part of my background. See that, see that right there, guys? That's just exciting. I'm here in Oklahoma, hanging out. Brings back good memories. But let me get the fish in the boat. Another nice one. That's actually a real, that's a nice one. Get the <laughs> grease hot! <laughs> Nowadays, when I go to you know some of the different places I live in the city, you know they, a lot of kids don't have that opportunity uh, to get out and experience what my grandfather, my uncles, uh, instilled on me about why it's important and the enjoyment of being outdoors. So, in 1998, we started Urban American Outdoors. Urban American Outdoors was designed to show diverse people of color in the outdoors, the outdoors from a different perspective. One of the things that we saw was there was a lot of people that were interested in the outdoors, but they didn't see themselves in that space. And one of the times, and one of the things that you have is if you don't have any equity or connection to it, it's hard for people to engage in that space. We, when we first started in 98 and 99, when we first did our show, there was no diversity inclusion discussions really. And our show came out and there were uh, about 500 outdoor TV shows. This is one of the things that Wayne, when he first said, I want to do a TV show, I'm like, okay. He had me look at all of them. And I was like, what is this? I, I really didn't like them, you know? I didn't see, I didn't see us. And there was not one that had a host of, that was a, a black man, and then a female, a woman, who is producing and who owns the actual TV show. So that was definitely a first. Week after week, you're gonna have that fast action, fun, and excitement. So I hope you enjoyed this show. I'm Wayne Hubbard, and this is the Urban American Outdoors Show. So when we came out and we and we had this great show and Wayne was on there, some of the people uh, attacked 
us and called us in outdoors. And that was some of the first things. I always, I always like to tell the story because this is real, what we had to go through. And um, what happened from there is that we ignored it. It was like, it's okay, because everybody didn't feel that way. That's a small group of people that felt that way. The awesome thing about it, just pure energy up here on the field. The key thing for us is we're going to try to sneak in, try to put the hammer on them, and like always, we're going to catch them and we're going to eat them. But the most important thing with this is we're going to take this and we're going to feed some hungry people. We're going to donate to food pantries in the community. So guys, I want you to sit back, relax. Um, I was very fortunate and very proud to have the opportunity to die for 21 African American brothers and sisters from all walks of life. I, I grew up eating all types of wonderful things. This, and this is just kind of a reflection. You know, I just love my mom. But I'm gonna put the little pepper on it. Just, yeah. they got one got, with your name on it, right? <laughs> Urban American Outdoors was designed to show positive images of people of color in the outdoors. But it also flipped into more than that. There were people that would reach out and say, how do I get my child? Or how do I get, uh, get involved in hunting and fishing and outdoors. So we created this, this model. We started to show from just looking at it from the space that we're gonna be a TV show. Mm -hmm. What happened was it became a movement. It became that we were create, people were reaching out and asking us to, how can we get engaged? How can we work on it? Then it, then it flipped from that to, the, the states were asking how we, then it flipped from that space that we were, you know, we got invited to the White House as one of the, we were nominated as one of the champions of change for conservation, I was, being in that space. So it was, it was that space that we were engaging. What has changed? is now you see more people out here. You see social media, people. you see that in the space. You see a lot more diversity. You see a lot of people of color in the space. We're out here going after these freshwater dinosaurs that's been around for a while. So we, this is what we do. And uh, I'm learning from a pro right here. Look at him. Look at him. It's not his first rodeo. You can tell. See that finesse in his hips? Look at him. Look at him. I'm feeling good, feeling great, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, feeling great, I'm feeling fantastic. I was done on my Oh, oh he's, he feels good. We want to make sure that people know that people of color, black people, Hispanic people, Asian people, enjoy the outdoors. They go out and engage it. Don't horse him too hard. Yeah. That might be the lake record. You know what? It's a Wayne record. Yeah. <laughs> Diversity and inclusion is very important uh, because we're all on this planet together. Everybody's already here and there is diversity in every walk of life in, with the animals. There's diversity with, uh, with animals and people as well. So I always believe that outdoors is for everybody. Bottom line, that's it, and everybody should be included, have access, opportunity to enjoy nature. Because that's what it was here for, to be stewards of the land, and, and everybody together can do this. And we getting down and dirty, getting ready to do, make it do what it do. I think we got a good one, folks. Yeah, there he is. He running, he running. Got him. You got him? He's in the boat. All right. Woo. Fish is in the boat. He's a very excited about it. Good job. <laughs> look, 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 look at this. Look at this right here. <laughs> That's lovely. This is what we're out here for, folks. Right here. So, absolutely amazing. Folks, you got to get out here and go to Outdoor Oklahoma. You'll catch some of these right here. I, I think, I, I think the, the, the true 
caveat of doing this work is it's being out, with, out here with the people that you enjoy. Everyone thinks about it, it's about the catch and the harvest. It's about the experience. Hold on, folks. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta say this. You gotta tell them what you got. Man, and don't you go ahead and tell them why? So, because you tell it so much. So, better. so, so, <laughs> so. This is every time I go at she. She's normally producing behind the camera, doing the things. You know, for, you know, I've been teasing her about her slinging the fishing rod and doing all this crazy <laughs> stuff. And and, uh, and so we're up here, and she's going to, you know, and then she catches a paddlefish with a band. I don't got no paddlefish with a band. <laughs> I got the little ring. You got the ring, ring. And I'm keeping the it. It's yes. Going, you, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I take her, it's just the same, take her out turkey hunting. The guy's out there bragging. She shoots the biggest turkey. Now she got a band. I, you know, <laughs> she need to go back behind the camera. But that's a different, that's a different story. We, we'll talk about it another time. Just try and keep me down. I got one. I got one. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a big old boy. Okay, I got you. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me. Let me. I need somebody help. Okay, okay, excuse me. Where's he? Where? Get his head. If, if you get that bill, don't let go. Oh yeah. Woo! Man, he came off. <laughs> to be able to get out on the water. Oh, it was so good. I was like, oh wow. You know, it took me back to what I was missing. So I was uh, it, great. Totally 100%. I feel so good. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, you know, you know what I you know what I like? Hmm. You know what I like though? It was being it wasn't just about catching fish. Hmm. It was being on the water, on the water. with water. good people. Mm -hmm. Enjoying nature at its finest. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's that's to me is is a key aspect. I'm good. And and mm -hmm. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to you know. Listen, I don't know if I'm more excited about eating or, or fishing, <laughs> but but it, but it's but it's, it's how we how we do how we do what we do. What better way to end today? We both got paddlefish in outdoor Oklahoma. <laughs>